Number 31. Which pairs of both species have the same number of unpaired p electrons? Now, one way you can do it is actually calculate the number of electrons they have and then write out the configuration, calculate the number of electrons O plus have and write out the configuration and then do a comparison. I'll, I'll show you another way that you can do um, using the periodic table. So, when you have the periodic table, understand that those in the group 1s under this column, they will be expected to have an S1 configuration at the end and those in group 2, S2. After the S is filled up, we will go to P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 and when we reach the noble gas, they will be P6. So, back to the question. If we were to want to find out what configuration Al2- ends up with, what we can do is we start off with Al and since it's 2 minus means it gains 2 extra electrons so one more electron, 2 more electrons so it will actually end up to have a P3 configuration O plus we start with O and then since it's plus it actually loses one electron so we move back one step it also ends up with a P3 configuration okay we try N nitrogen neutral P3 Cl2 plus so Cl starts off as P5 2 plus loses 2 electrons, 1, 2. So it will be P3. Carbon alone will be P2. Cl plus, so P5, back 1 square to P4. Right, and we have to check number of unpaired electrons. So it's not just number of um, p electrons; it's unpaired p electrons. One and two for sure will be the same. Looking at statement three, carbon for p two will look like this: two unpaired electrons. For p four, Cl plus one, two, three, four it will also have two unpaired electrons. So although they don't have the same number of p electrons, they have the same number of unpaired p electrons. So be careful whether it's asking for p electrons or unpaired p electrons. So all three are correct. So answer is A. Okay. One, two, three are correct. Reaction pathway, reversible reaction. Statement 1, enthalpy change for the backward reaction is plus 90. The backward reaction enthalpy change is the difference between this level and this level. It's only plus 30. So statement 1 is wrong. Forward reaction is exothermic. Well, you have to lose energy as you go from left to right. So, exothermic is correct. Enthalpy change for the forward reaction is minus 30. To go from this side and end up at this level, you have to drop by 30. So, enthalpy change for forward reaction is minus 30. Now, anyways, if you already figured out statement 1 is wrong, it must be combination of 2 and 3 should be correct. Which substance contain delocalized electrons? Cyclohexane 
will be an, a double bond, right? These are not considered delocalized electrons. So, statement one is wrong. Two and three must be correct then. Graphite, if you recall the structure, is actually hexagonal, sheets of flat hexagonal, and then there will be mobile electrons among the layers or between the layers. Graphite conducts electricity because of that. Sodium, sodium metal, positive ions surrounded by sea of delocalized electrons. So sodium metal is also correct. So two and three are correct.